Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the launch of a brand new series, a potential brand new series, called Morning Mumbles. And good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. I don't know if anyone's going to be here or if anyone's going to show up, but uh, welcome. Welcome to Morning Mumbles, where um, it's a show where I talk just for about like 30, 45 minutes to, to, you, to you folks at home, to you, to anything that's been on my mind, anything that i um, Anything that happens to pop up, you know, if you want to talk about something yourself, you could type that in chat, and uh, depending on if that if it's interesting enough to me, I could I could watch it, or I could I could talk about it. Then so be it. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start with uh, is the music too loud? <laughs> That should be good. So like three is like the lowest it can go. It's fine. So I've been playing Kingdom Hearts, as some of you know. Uh, some people, uh, some some of you saw the thumbnail. I'm like, no, thank you. But that's fine. That's fine. It's completely fine. And uh, I was talking with one of my friends in the chat, Matt. And uh, how I was, I was saying like I'm trying to play all the all the Kingdom Hearts games until Kingdom Hearts three, which I I thought was possible, but um, after struggling for five hours and almost I mean I'm almost at the end of Kingdom Hearts one, I think him and I came to a conclusion that um, I'm just rushing through it and I'm, I'm not having fun. As much fun as I should have, as I should be, with the game, and I feel like it's it's a it's a cherished series, a cherished series to a lot of people, and me like rushing through it and like trying to see what all the hype is about. I'm not having fun myself. It, I'm being frustrated, and I'm taking way too long of bosses and stuff like that. I got I got a little better near the end, once I once I actually knew how to use the abilities I had, not just like hack and slash away. I think it might also have to do with the fact that um I don't I don't, I don't know if I'm under leveled or not, but that uh that being said, if you guys have any opinions on Kingdom Hearts, leave them in the comments below. Uh, my opinion on it so far is, um, it's okay. It's good. It's good. It's okay. It's, it's good. It's good. Just not, like, the gameplay is, like, meh. Gameplay's okay. It's about, it's about like, huh, huh, yeah, huh, yeah. I mean, you, you expect that from, like, an RPG. But... Usually it gets it gets kind of annoying sometimes when you're on it for such a long time. It's what it's the cutscenes that really make it, and and the weird switch between the uh, high poly models, and the low poly models, and just from like, what are you talking about? Like I'm here for you, Riku. To like, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's, it's weird. It's super weird. And if, if anyone wonders, like, why I'm doing the stream so, like, early. I know, I know people are at school and stuff like that, but whenever I do streams in the afternoon, uh, there's some people from Ireland, actually, that, um, that watch. And they say, like, it's, it's super late for me now. I'm just like, how could that be? Like... I'm supposed to, like, I, I stream, like, in the afternoon, everyone's gonna be there. Not everyone, but, like, people could have the chance to show up, and it's just, like, I have to go to bed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it gives them maybe an opportunity to see how this works out. Man, it's hard to, it's hard to talk for just half an hour for a little old me, huh? <laughs> uh, let's see. But, yeah, I've been, I'm, I'm still having fun with the game. Not as much fun as I should be, 
but I think that'll change over time. And I came to the conclusion, me and Matt, that I shouldn't rush it. I should put Kingdom Hearts, should put the hype for Kingdom Hearts 3 away and just play through the games at my own pace. Take the time to explore, you know, maybe finish off like the side quests in there, maybe get all the Dalmatians, the pages for Winnie the Pooh. Um, and uh, pretty much it for the, all those other games. Do the same for what's the uh, what's the order? So it's it's Kingdom Hearts one, it's recoded, and then Kingdom Hearts two. Because it's not it's the order on in the uh, collection like doesn't match what people say to play play it in. Oh, it's it's Kingdom Hearts key. No, that's like one of the last ones to do. It's like there's like back key cover or whatever it is. You have point two, zero point two. You have um, five, you have um, dream drop distance, three five eight days over two. Three five eight days over two is a is I think, I think that was my first introduction to the Kingdom Hearts series actually, because uh, I had we we had DSs right, and we had the flash cards, you know the ones where you could put like you know put your ROMs on an SD card, you put it in the card itself, and then you put it in the DS, and then it reads all those ROMs. Don't tell anyone. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like th that game was on it for some reason, and I think I played it a little bit, and never, never got far into it. Never really got invested because I was like, I want to play my Mario. I mean, I, I still am like that, <laughs> to be honest. So nothing has changed. Uh, so how are you guys doing? <laughs> how are you guys doing? Sound off in chat. Sound off in chat if you want. If you want to. That's fine. But yeah, 358 Days Over 2 was my first introduction to the Kingdom Hearts series without me knowing it. Now, I don't remember Jack. <laughs> I, I just know that's a, a movie compilation on the uh, on the disc because uh, they couldn't transfer the gameplay over. Many people thought that the, the gameplay detracted away from the experience. I know, right? Shocking. Uh, <laughs> but it'd be like that sometimes. That's how that's how Mafia works. I want to try something real quick. Hold on, I want to try something real quick. I mean, I've been trying. I've been wanting to try this for a while, for a little bit. Uh, go to this. Do filters. Add chroma key. I think you know what I'm about to do. Custom color. Do, 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 do. That. Oh, my whole face disappeared. Whoops. Whoop. Really? If I if I if I chroma key out my my uh <laughs> my my shirt that goes away, everything goes away. Just everything. All right. No worries. Jonas man, welcome, welcome. First one in the stream. Oh wait, it's Chroma King like a little bit back there. No, no, <laughs> it went away. How you doing, man? Good morning to you. If it if it if it is indeed morning where you are, it is around nine twenty my time. Boom. Ba -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, and this music, by the way, is by Insane in the Rain Music. He does fantastic, fantastic uh, jazz covers of songs. Uh, this one's from the Undertale album he did. Uh, Live at Groby's, I believe it is. It's called? I think so. I think so. Uh, go check him out. He's really cool. He, he, just, he just came out with an original song. And uh, it's fantastic. It's freaking fantastic. You just came from school. You just came from school. Like, you're done? You're done school? Like, for the day? I don't know. I, this is my day off from school, but I actually have a rehearsal to go to uh, for my acapella group that, that I'm a part of. It's not mine, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're, we're competing in this big competition uh, in February. And uh, we're working on a, on a choreography, trying to get the uh, uh, 
our, our notes down, our harmonies down. Tuning is a big one, dynamics. So that should be fun. Why did, why did it just like shake all of a sudden? It's so good, it's so good. Yeah, I'm getting off topic. Uh, have you played any of the Kingdom Hearts games, Jonas? Has that been a thing? It's been introduced to you. Because I was just talking about that. Yeah, what else? What else is there to talk about? What else can I say about Kingdom Hearts? Uh, nothing much, really. Nothing much to say, really. Just that, um... Uh, it's 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 an it's going good. The games are good. The game, the one game. Yeah, you just. It's okay. It's going good. It's going great. I feel like I feel like the show. The show's gonna be good. The show's gonna be great. You just came from school. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just saw that. I saw I saw the message and he rejected it and they put the same thing. <laughs> uh, am I calling you out? That's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Let's do that. A little bit of that. There we go. Chat a little bit bigger. What, the, what time is it over there for you? What else can we talk about? We can talk about the SNES games that um uh that popped up earlier. So, so for some of you that don't know, Nintendo Nintendo basically pulled a pulled a Nintendo and made online made online service like paid for. It. So pay twenty bucks a year, which isn't all that bad, but people are but people including myself complain that. It's only NES games that we're getting in return. And so, um... And, like, the, the online improvements, they're just not there. Like, they don't provide dedicated servers for games. It's still a peer-to-peer -peer connection, which means, like, you both have to rely on your own internet connection for a good experience. And they don't have a dedicated service for it. And, uh, we've been waiting for, for more of a, uh... More incentive to get in, to buy the online service. I mean, we already have, but more incentives to be worth it. Hey Matt, what's going on? E, that's your, that's always your first message. I like it. 5.30 p.m. now, what? Where, where are you? <laughs> uh, wow, all right, uh, it's like 9 a.m. EST. Is it, Ar is it Irish time? No. <laughs> wow, that is a weird time zone. 5.30 right now, wow. That's okay, okay, I guess, I guess. That, that, that's cool, that's cool. Yes, the, S the SNES game. So, on the online service, they, they provide us with NES games we can play. Which wouldn't be all that bad if we had, like, if we also had a virtual console, but we don't. Uh, so, right now, Nintendo Online is the only way to play retro games on the Switch. Unless you, you know, like homebrew it or hack it or whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna risk that to my Switch because uh, I actually use it. <laughs> uh, so let's go SNES games online. Man's are streaming in the morning. 5:30 p.m. is a scary time. That's right, cereal. By the way, welcome, cereal. Cereal. Milk and cereal, cereal and milk, milk and cereal. Cereal and milk. I love this. I love this. I love this. So it was announced earlier, or yesterday, I believe, that someone found data for 22 any uh, SNS games that are that might be potentially coming to the online uh, service soon. Uh, and those are. Super Mario Kart, Super Soccer, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Demon's Crest, 
Yoshi's Island, uh, stunt, stunt Race FX, which is an interesting one, because that requires a special chip, uh, Kirby's Dream Course, Poppin' Twin B, Star Fox, Contra 3, Kirby Superstar, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Kirby's Dream Land 3, uh, Super Metroid, Super Mario World, Pilot Wings, and F Zero. You've got you've got a healthy you got a healthy dose of these games going on. You got your classics. You got uh, Kirby's Dream Course is a great game. Yoshi's Island, Link to the Past, Super Kirby Superstar, Star Fox, Super Mario World, Super Metroid. You got your hard ones. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is a hard one. Contra Three. Uh, pilot like classics like Pilot Wings, F Zero. And Star Race FX. So Star Race FX is a very interesting game because um, to pull off those three, like Star Race FX is a 3D game on an S on the SNES, and and also with uh, Star Fox, I believe. So to get those 3D graphics, they had they had to put a special chip inside the cartridge itself so that the game could play to to render those those uh, 3D graphics. It's, it was called the Super FX chip, and for a long time. Emulators and such struggled to run this game because because of that certain chip. Uh, people like makers of those uh, emulators already reverse engineered the SNES to work just with the SNES itself, like that hardware, but didn't take into account the games with an extra chip in them. So that took some extra work. But I think some some of them got there. Mode seven, yeah, mode seven. Classic Mode 7 in the Link to the Past uh, when when um, it's zooming in on the world map that's using Mode 7. Like in the beginning when it zooms into uh, the castle from the map, like it looks super cool. Like it like flies in. It's really cool. So yeah, uh, it's it's not clear if these uh, if these games are gonna come out immediately like all of them are going to come out at the same time or they're going to do the nintendo thing that they've been that they've been doing with the nes games and release them like three at a time two at a time apparently there's more uh star fox 2 super punch out great the star fox 2 is actually was actually a um it was actually it's actually been playable for a while but that was like a pre-production version it was like not the final version but the but now that the SNES classic came out that's like the only like official way to play it but people have since then uh, taken the ROM from the SNES classic just uh, distributed online and that, that's out there now the final version is out there so Star Fox 2 Super punch out the legend of the of the mystical ninja never heard of that one um, Super Mario All-Stars, which is a compilation of, like, like four of the games, four or five of the games. Uh, Breath of Breath of Fire 2. I was about to say Breath of the Wild. Breath of Fire 2. So, yeah, that's a pretty strong lineup, actually. They're probably going to do the thing where they release it, like, several at a time. Like, three, maybe two. Maybe two, since these are, like, SNES games. Which are more advanced, more crazy than the, uh... NES games, which uh, I've seen some crazy NES games. I'm not gonna lie to you there. Uh, what else is there to talk about? What what do we what do we got to talk about here? Let's search some let's search up Nintendo. Let's talk about Nintendo because I love Nintendo. Uh, super oh yeah, Super Smash Brothers was the uh was the most oh, hold on, what is this? oh yeah it's fine. um super smash bros was the best-selling switch uh, like video game thing on amazon like out of all the video game stuff like the console stuff uh the the gift cards and whatnot super smash brothers from its release in december was became the best selling of 2018 in video games that to me that's just insane that's just like an insane feat. <laughs> and no, that's that's actually crazy. For such is such a small amount of time, my camera is going to die. Is it dead? Is it dead? Nope. It's coming back to life. Whoa. Coming back to life live. There it is. I have to press the button though. I 
I did it. I pressed the button, and now everything's gone. <laughs> wow, it's crazy how that works. That's how Mafia works. Uh, but yeah, Super Sm Smash Brothers is a good game. It's a great game, and it, it deserves that top spot because it's a, it's always a it's always a console seller as well for Nintendo. Whenever Smash Brothers comes out, uh, it, that's like that's like the the quintessential like party fighting game. So people are gonna buy that and also buy a Switch if they don't have one, just so, just so they can play it. And you know, with the Joy Cons, you could you could uh, I don't have the Switches in here right now, but with the Joy Cons, you could you know play with a friend anytime, anywhere. If they have you know little tiny hands, <laughs> um, I've been looking to get into those. Uh, the uh, I still don't have a pro controller, but I it's probably it probably won't go on sale anytime soon. It was on sale, but uh, it sold out like almost immediately. So I've been looking to get into those um, Joy-Con like grips that have the handles on them, so that you could like I'm a gamer too. <laughs> Look at me, I'm gamer, gamer mode, everybody. Hey, what's your favorite video game? Hey chat, what's your favorite video game? Could be could be Nintendo, could be could be Nintendo, could be PlayStation, could be Xbox. <laughs> that means Xbox. Yeah, I'm like I'm I'm looking forward to see what Nintendo is is bringing in 2019. We got Yoshi's Craft the World coming up. Uh, we got Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Extra Epic. I'm Extra Epic. The Extra Epic Yarn continues. And let's see. Chat, what do you got? What, what's on your mind today? What, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I literally, like, I'm, I was literally late for my own streams day. <laughs> Uh, I woke up uh, like at my at my alarm, but I just you know I just laid in bed and then didn't do anything. <laughs> love you, love you, Mega Man. I know you do, man. I know you do. I know you do. Mega Man is good. It's fun. The soundtrack like bops. Gameplay is like you know, it looks simple, but like. There's actual strategy to it. I like that. I like that about games. Splatoon is your favorite game. You know what? I had I'd have to I'd have to agree. You know, I I love I freaking love Splatoon. I, that that was like a surprise hit for me when when we got it for the uh, Wii U. I thought I, I, I at first I hated it actually, but once I got used to controls like like using the motion controls with it, it was just like it was just super natural to me and I have loved it ever since and but there's this thing with my joy cons right now that um it doesn't always register like an up direction and sometimes it'll and sometimes it'll drift so and the lord knows that like joy cons cost like 90 bucks Canadian I actually search up the joy cons Hundred bucks, a hundred bucks for for another set of the ones I have. My goodness. And they're they're not some <laughs> there are some not so good reviews on Best Buy. What? Oh, my camera died, I guess. Uh, is that, like, actually dead? It's actually dead. It's actually dead. Uh, that happened to me, too, but I couldn't go left and right. I was able to get the new ones, though. Were you, did you, did you like, send them in for, like, repair? Or what happened to them? Huh, let me just change the batteries on my camera real quick.
had these left had these little babies left over from last stream. It's nice to keep a couple handy. One one in the camera and one charging. But I have to go here. Cam link. Oh, let me turn hey turn this off fully first. Behind the scenes live. I'm gonna turn this back on. Deactivate and then activate. Do that a couple times. There we go. I press the button. And there we go. We did it, chat. We did it, Reddit. Uh, I just got new ones and still have my, still have my hold. Uh, hold meaning what? What do you mean? And you still have your old. Oh, I see. Did you buy a new set? Bottom, bottom. If anyone out there wants to get me some new Joy-Cons or a Pro Controller, uh, you know, just as a, as a present, <laughs> that'd be great. Joy cons, yes, I know. I know. I get it. I get that. I get that. But did you buy them? Or did you like you get them as a like, Christmas present? They're expensive. They're expensive. <laughs> I love this set. I love this. I bought my new set and kept my old ones. I don't know where my old ones are located. I see, I see. You just keep them just because, uh... They're the first Joy-Cons you ever got with your Switch, Rooney. Oh yeah, I was fortunate enough, fortunate enough to get the, um... Uh, to get the... What was it? The Neon Joy-Cons, the red and blue ones. And I was like, yes. Yes, please. Because, uh, the gray ones, the gray one is fine. You know, it's iconic, like, promotional material. But the red and blue ones like just added more pop, and like I'd like that. It's easier to differentiate too. And some people, because some people, I think didn't some people in the beginning like put their Joy Cons like upside down on the Switch because they didn't know which way the rails went. Oh no, it was the uh, the wrist straps. They they put it on like. Like backwards or upset or like on the uh, wrong end and there are all these people just like my my uh my joycon rail got stuck to this uh this wrist strap it was it was something stupid like that how much is a pro controller Searching up things on Best Buy live. Ninety bucks, so it's ten dollars cheaper to buy a Pro Controller than Joy Cons. But on the other hand, Joy Cons are kind of essential to the whole Switch experience. It's stuck in forever. Sometimes it'd be like that. Something. Sometimes it do be like that. Some people don't think the universe be like it is, but it do. Unless you manage to get it out, but your hands are gonna hurt. I guess. Let's hear a man. He got manly hands, which I, I, I don't. I have very, very, uh, not, not manly. Whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah. 
This is Born in Mumbles, the only show where you. <laughs> I love doing that. Like, welcome to the show where you. Hey, what's over here? <laughs> This has been fun. This has been fun. Uh, I didn't think I would be able to fill in a whole like thirty minutes of me talking, but yeah, it's it's about time. It's about getting to that time where you know it's it's around thirty minutes. So uh, yeah, I have nothing. I have nothing really else to say. You know, Kingdom Hearts games are slowly gonna be covered. Uh, the uh, ooh, nice song to end it off on. <laughs> the um, videos for the channel are gonna be yeah slowly. Let's surely getting to a regular pace as soon as I get more motivation to actually edit. Um, so, yeah, I think you guys. <laughs> the show! We're you edition! <laughs> um, <laughs> that's good. I should just call this, like, the show where you. <laughs> I, I, try to, I try to come up with, like, a morning show, like, alliteration name. But yeah, anything you guys want to say before we end it off here? I just want to say thank you for... And while, and while you do that, I want to say thank you for uh, coming to the uh, stream. There's a lot more people than I expected. Uh, like, yeah, chatting at least. Warframe streams when? Once I get good at it. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I guess that would be the whole experience of, like, watch me get better at Warframe. Or watch me suck at Warframe. Soon. Soon. On my days off. Maybe Friday. That is my day off. If you guys are wondering what the music is, then it's uh, it's insane in the rain music. He is amazing. <laughs> Have a cookie. Have a cookie! Dad, have a cookie now! Put the cookie down! Syria, put the cookie down now! No! I'm. I'm. Arnold Schwarzenegger, I ran for governor of California once! <laughs> Alright. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this morning in Mumbles. It's been an interesting pilot, and uh, maybe I'll have some guests on that, that will wake up uh, <laughs> earlier than I'd. I do, and like maybe we can have them on if anyone's down. Cookie, cookie, cake. Could have said it better myself. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming to this morning stream. Uh, I think, I think it's gonna be success. Hopefully. <laughs> so, tune in whenever. Tune in mornings. Like, tune in like. I'm gonna say Monday. I'm gonna say tune in every Monday, 9 a.m. EST, uh, for another morning mumbles, and we're gonna have a good time. Yeah, this is a chance for uh, international viewers to come in and and have their say as well. Yeah, like Jonas was in at like 5:30 p.m. his time. So, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching once again. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. Make sure to like the stream. Make sure to count leave some comments down below if you're watching this afterwards. Uh, share it with a friend. Share share the uh, news that a new show has started. And subscribe so you don't miss another video. Hit the bell as well so that notifications get to you. Usually. If YouTube decides to not be a butt. Alright. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching once again.